Look at this beautiful sandbar behind me. Now this is not Virgin Island. This is one of Bohol's most underrated sandbars that you can come and visit. And it's gorgeous, look at that. And best of all, there's no other tourists. I'm the only tourist here, would you believe? So let me take you around this beautiful paradise in Bohol. This teardrop shaped sandbar is off the beaten track, so most tourists don't even know about it. So let me take you to this tiny gem of a sandbar in Bohol, Philippines. Firstly, if you're staying in Panglao Island, I really think it's a little bit too far to get from here. As you can see, it's over three hours, and I'd recommend doing this trip from Anda, as it's a lot closer. I will do a future video on Anda, and the amazing places to stay here. So stay tuned for that. I rented a scooter to get there, and the ride from Anda to the port takes you through some magnificent countryside. I mean, I had to stop and take some photos to take it all in. So this is the port at Mabini, and there's no one around at the moment. That's a tourist information desk, but no one around. I'm gonna have to try and find someone to see if I can organize a boat. But there's boats over here, there's life jackets, so. This is where they take off from. I've just met a guy who's gonna come back and organize the trip for me, so I'll just wait for him. Behind me are the fees, so for one to four persons, yes, it's yes, yes. 920 plus 100. Then you've got an entrance fee, fee for this, fee for that, fee for this. There's so many fees here, so I'll just take a photo of it. Freeze frame it for half an hour to see how many fees you're gonna to pay to go here. And I've got some good weather. You can see behind me, the water is flat and it's beautiful sunshine, so it's a good day to go. So I just met some kids here. What, what's the name of the sandbar out here? Lumayag Sandbar. How do you say it? Lumayag Sandbar. Okay, there you go. What are you, what are you doing here, fishing? Oh, yeah. I have to say, it's, it's very scenic around here. You see the mountain range in the background there. Very beautiful area, actually. The name of the mountain range here? Yeah, no, no, no. no. What's the name of that? Uh, yes, yes. My mountain is uh, very high. Yeah, what's it called, Bastu? Pasto. Pasto. Pasto, yes. That's the name of the mountain. Charmaine here, you're the tourist office, right? Yes, sir. And if you get a big group, like, what, how many people can this boat take? 30? 30 up to. Th so if you've got more people, you're going to a bigger boat like this one behind me here. I'm just coming solo, so I'm just getting a little baby boat, right? Yes, sir. Is it safe? Yes, sir. It's I'm safe. also going to visit the cliffs here. What's the name of the cliffs? Naasu Cliff. And what, uh, it's like El Nido, is it? Yes, yeah. Little Palawan. Like, okay. All right, so they're saying it's like Palawan. We'll, we'll see if it is. So riding the motorbike from Ander took me about an hour. Then I'm at the office here. So it's 9.20 for the boat. Then I'm paying for fees, 2.40. That's for the environmental fee to video I don't know, some other things. So that's 2.40 plus 9.20. Oh, the office is open from? Monday to Sunday. From and then 8 to 5 p.m. And when's the, best, when's the best time to see the sandbar? Yes. Best time to go to low tide? Yeah, yes. And is there a particular time of year which is the best time to see it? This summer. In the summer? This March. So March is okay? Yes. March until? March to April. Is a good time to see the sandbar? Yes, sir, that's uh, no summer. And the, the water is flatter, it's yes. not so rough. Yes. So I've got that little blue boat out there, that's my boat going there. Yeah, <laughs> Hope it's not the Titanic. And then it was off, and it's only around a 10 minute trip. So finally arrived on, what's the name of the sandbar? That's Lumayag Sandbar. Welcome to the Lumayag Sandbar of Mabini Buhol. There you go. The sandbar is a breathtaking atoll island, a ring-shaped coral reef that cradles a lagoon of crystal clear waters. Oh my God, I think I'm in paradise. Look at this gorgeous sandbar behind me. Now this is not Virgin Island, but it's one of Buhol's most underrated sandbars you could ever visit. I am the only tourist here. I've got the whole place to myself barring the boatmen here. It's coming high tide, so since I've been here, I've noticed that the water is getting higher and higher. Now this, when it's at high tide fully, it comes up to your ankles. About that, at high tide. But it is coming high tide since I've been flying the drone around. I have noticed the water slowly creeping up. I wish I came here low tide to see the big difference, but nonetheless, You'll be able to see what I can see on the, the drone, but the water's, look at that. It's also a diving spot here. Well, look, dive. Okay, so, the one. so you can dive over here as well, and snorkeling. The waters are crystal clear, it's just gorgeous out here. This sandbar looks beautiful. I'm glad I came here on a sunny day like this. You can see the clear waters behind me, and they got, I'm walking on the sand now. What's that? Low tide, 6 a.m., 6 a.m. Sunrise, the sun. Um, 
So you think it's good to come like first thing in the morning? So I came here at like 8.30 in the morning, so the tide was slowly rising, but I, I still got a good view of the, the sandbar. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but this, this sand just extends for a long, long way. And it's not very deep as well. And I'm in the middle of the ocean. If I turn it around, you can see how far I am from the shore. And because there's no wind today, it's the, the water's flat as a tack. There's no waves. It's just so quiet and peaceful. And like, I'm in the middle of the bay here. Like you can see the mountain range behind me and it's really beautiful scenery actually. You've got the mountains. I'm gonna go for a swim and check out if I can see anything. Look how beautiful it is. Here is a hut where they have a, what is it, a sentry, a guard? Because this is a fish sentry, fish sentry? Fish sanctuary. So they look after it, so no illegal fishing going on around here. So that's what the hut's over there for. So these are the three guys that stay here for three days. That's their schedule and then three days off. They get paid 200 per day and they eat and drink here so they don't go off the the hut or whatever you call this place, the cottage. They bring the food over here from Mabini so they stay sleep here. This is what they sleep on. There's no pillow, no blanket, blanket? No, no, no. Nothing, just very simple. simple. So just on this wood that they sleep on. Cold, wind. What about when a, when a storm comes? Okay, so signal number one or two, they head back to port. Otherwise they stay here 24 seven. Well, there's, there's someone here 24 seven. Oh, you sleep in the hammock. Is that where you sleep? This one's got a hammock to sleep in, more comfortable. And this is your bunk beds over here. So very, very rustic accommodation here. And that's their food over there. They've got rice. So there you go, if you're, if you're generous, they would really love some foam mattress or something to sleep on more comfortable than... Man, if I slept on that, my back would be so sore. They have so giant clam. Giant clams, 16 yeah. species over there. Over there, okay. The okay. Just coming up here, it's spectacular. You can see all the mountain range. It's just so beautiful here. So that, that this is sanctuary. Is what do you call this nice. in in? Saya. Yeah. Abuhan. Abuhan. So they cook on here. I don't know if it's the safest thing to be cooking. <laughs> this everything's made of wood on this cottage. <laughs> so after about an hour or so, I decided to head off to the cliffs. Again, that takes only around ten minutes or so. So there they are. I wasn't so convinced that it looked like Palawan though. What do you guys think? Anyway, it was okay to look at and it's just a short side trip away. And then we headed back to the port. So things to note, you can take food over. Does the Lumayang sandbar, you can bring food to cook drinks. there over the drinks like cook. But no alcohol, no, no alcohol. alcohol. This uh, sanctuary okay. that cannot bring alcohol. So you can bring your own food. Yeah. Hey Bunch, can you bring your chairs and all that as well? Yeah. Okay. And bring your rubbish back, don't leave it there. Keep the island beautiful. They're clean. You can see this. the fish over the sea. It's mini fish. And there's also, um, come back, there's a toilet you can wash. You can wash in the toilet. They have a clean toilet. Okay. Down. Shower. There you go. Thank you so much. And if you want to contact GR Bushu. He'll give you his number and yeah. you can contact him if you want to pre-arrange the tour. Well, so the office opens at 8 o'clock, so if you want to go at 5 or 6 in the morning, you can contact Rene directly and, and organise it for or, that, the next day, obviously. Oh, yeah. And, and we can reserve a boat to going to the Lumayag Sandbar as yeah. early as 5 o'clock, in the, early in the morning. Okay. So if you want to go early and... You can witness the sunrise of the sun. I can't do I can't get up that early. Thank you, Rene. Thanks. Uh, you're welcome. I had a quick look at the bathroom, and surprisingly, it was quite clean. What do you call that pail? What? Uh, tambo. Tambo. The shower's in behind here. And you use yes. that. What's it? Tambo? Tambo. Tambo, sir, in Visaya. Tambo. Yes. That's the Filipino shower. So there you go. You can refresh after your trip with your salt water on you. Thank you. What should you say? Come and visit. Come and visit in Lumaya, in Sunbar. And these friendly staff and people will show you around. It's really good. I recommend, highly recommend it. I also did find a Facebook page on someone who does tours, but they said their boat was under repair at the time of making this video. But probably it's just better to contact Rene directly and deal without the middleman. Now, if you're interested in some other sandbars in Bohol that are equally as stunning, 
and most tourists don't even know about either. And I highly recommend you watching this video on all the details on how to get there and what to expect. And they are definitely hidden gems in Bahol. And don't forget, I will upload a new video on the places to stay in Anda. But in the meantime, you can see my top 10 resorts in Bahol for other ideas on where to stay. I'll see you there.